Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm doing another quick video today for uh, um, Dungeons and Dragons and um, we're going to cover uh, making tokens. So we're going to make a quick token here and we're going to use our old friend uh, GIMP. GIMP is great software. Um, I think it's available to everyone. You don't have to pay for it. Um, works on every system and there are great tutorials on YouTube to get anything. I will point out before we get started using GIMP to make a token for, for Dungeons and Dragons and Roll20 is kind of like using a bulldozer to build a sandcastle. So there's definitely some other software that might be a little bit uh, easier to use, but uh, again, the good thing about GIMP is everyone will have it uh, and everyone can use it. So let's just grab um, a token that we want to use. As you can see, this guy is a knoll. It looks like a pretty scary monster guy. He's got a white background and we don't want that to show up. Um, the only difference really between GIMP and most of the software is you just need to go into Layer, Transparency, and you're going to add an alpha channel. That is it. So I'm going to show that one more time. You're going to go to Layer, transparency add alpha and now we can just use our magic wand tool in GIMP they call it the fuzzy select tool I mean whichever whatever you want to call it it's just pretty easy to use you're just gonna click on the background and as you can see it cut out everything I'm gonna hit delete and now my guys background is transparent I like to go in and also grab all these little areas um, and it just makes it look a little bit better I'm just gonna just gonna click on some of this um, white so that it looks transparent when we actually upload the image it's gonna look really cool uh, you don't need to get all of it <clears throat> so as you can see uh, the background is completely transparent we're almost done the last thing we need to do is that in uh, roll 20 any image that is not perfectly squared will end up getting stretched out until it's a square so this guy is clearly a little bit taller than he is uh, wide so we don't want him to look like a big fat knoll let's go to canvas size so in canvas size we're just gonna make these two numbers match uh, so I'm gonna the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna make this uh, eight um, uh, I'm gonna make this 853 as well and uh, so as you can see um, when I hit resize the whole image is squared up last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my moving tool I'm just gonna center them up a bit perfect uh, so now we just need to uh, save the file uh, the way you will do that here is you will go to export as not save as you're gonna export as to get our file uh, and we're going to go down here to select file types and we're just going to scroll down to PNG and it has to be PNG. It is the only file format supported by uh, Roll20. And we're going to call this guy, uh, I think I'm up to null number four. So let's do null four. Uh, so null four and it's in PNG and that should work just fine. I'm going to do export again. Go into my files. I'm going to make sure he looks okay. And as you can see, he looks perfect. That checkered background means that it's transparent. Let's go into the actual... Uh, Roll20 software and we could just drag him in and it's gonna upload. It's gonna take a couple of seconds uh, So just sit tight. Uh, it's gonna show up really big, but I'll show you we can just shrink him down pretty quickly Okay, yeah, so as you can see he looks pretty good our, our null guy I'm just gonna shrink him down to his five foot square uh, and as you can see our null guy here. I'm gonna zoom in in one second And as you can see he looks pretty good um, his background is completely transparent. If I use the zoom in button, you can see he looks pretty good. Um, no, nothing to complain about here. So that's going to be uh, making tokens in Roll20. Thank you for watching.